Hello, this is John from MyBrandGames.com, and I'm here to continue playing Colibri for the Sega 32X. I anticipate this being my final video, or at least next to last video. I believe I'm right at the end. In fact, let me break out my phone so I can get the password I'm after. Let's see, let's go ahead and input that password that is CY. C Y F Doctor D R M K L M K L No, not M K M M K L. There we go. And this is penetration. Let me take a look at the manual real quick. See how far away from the end we are, at least how far the manual is saying we are from the end. Maybe there's more stages than the manual that's on. Uh, we're on penetration. This is the third to last video. After penetration, we should have extraction and then remission. Okay. There we go. Looks like I was going to an attract mode. Let's, let's go ahead and start penetration. Hey, let me yawn first. Woo! Let me get that out of the way. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wrong button. Okay, it seemed like at the end of the last video... Ooh, ooh, ooh. We thought... Or I thought I was gonna have to move that thing, kinda... Ricochet it all the way over... To blow that up. That was gonna be a task. I didn't want to do it that video. I was already... Reaching my my limit for that video. Okay, no hope for that. I gotta blow that thing up. That's not gonna be what I want. I think probably getting this upgraded to the max will be what I need. Kind of getting them bouncing down a little bit. There we go. Well, he's riding the top. He's riding the ceiling. That's def. Okay, that is definitely what I want to happen. I'm or not that. It's definitely what I need to happen. I need, definitely need to get him down by that barrier. And I really don't like the way Calibri moves. There's like no finesse with Calibri. This is, man, this is going to be tough. Is there another weapon I got to do that with? That... I guess first I want to take out these snakes. I'd hate to actually start getting this thing over towards that bear and then wind up having a snake blow it up. Let's try with this. Yeah, nope. <laughs> okay. I think I need to slow it down a little bit, not try and bum-rush these snakes. Just kill the snakes and wait for them to disintegrate. Let's try... Uh, these are... This is the homing. Alright, this is a little bit of a homing attack. This may be what I want. Ooh. I think this is the weapon we want, though. This is giving me the accuracy. I like the homing, because if I fire it just right and get my timing correct, it'll hit that 
you know, the jar portion of this thing and not the tentacle that explodes. Sometimes easier said than done, though. Oh man, I'm getting it. This is... Oof. Man, I think I hear enemies. I don't like that. This thing kind of looks almost like a dog toy or something. Oh, 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 man. Made it all the way. That's fine. I know what to do now. This is kind of a cool little puzzle. Something I haven't really seen another game tackle in the same way. At least not that I can think of off the top of my head. Know that we necessarily need this slowdown, but it does help make me a little more accurate and not hit the the spinal cord of this thing. Well, okay, spoke too soon. Okay, I'm just gonna have to destroy it now. It's kind of in a tricky spot. Man, if this little section takes too long, this may be a one-stage video, two-stage video. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it, and we can move on, be that much closer to the end. I'm close. Close enough. Just let her rip. What? No. Oh. Is that gonna be enough for me? Oh man, that's not enough. Well, at least I got some health out of it. Let's go back and get another one. If I can do it once, I can do it as many times as needed. Be a little more forceful now. I'll take take a little more risk. Just want to get it over there quick now. Okay, that should be enough. Yes. Yeah, that was a tricky puzzle. Okay, now I need to get that creature follow me down here and give me the coverage I need or give me the support I need Mr. Gorbachev tear down this wall there we go all right that didn't take too long just eight and a half minutes ten minutes extraction okay nothing to my left we're going one way that's tricky Oh, dude. Speaking of tricky, those could be tricky. Looks like I'm not going that way. Man, I'm taking a lot of damage. Need to get some health. Need to get special weapon ammunition. It's got to be down here somewhere. I guess it doesn't have to be. There was a section up top I don't think I fully explored. Inchworm. One good thing about Calibri, you know, it's consistently introducing new enemies and new... Ooh. New enemies and new... Gameplay mechanics, I guess? I mean, that little puzzle back in that previous stage, that was the first time I've seen a puzzle like that. That is a new gameplay mechanic, I'd suppose.
Okay, there's our special weapon ammo. Ooh, ooh, suck him in, suck him in. Alright, we escaped. We escaped three of them, no less. Right on. Yes, give us this weapon. It's got the homing trait that we desire. Alright, there goes that barrier. Let's get this slow motion thing. It'll come in handy, I'm sure. Oh my goodness. Like I said, Colibri is not... the most responsive of hummingbirds, of video game characters. You know, he, he just does not turn on a dime like you would hope he would. Mm, missed that health pickup, but hey, we got this checkpoint, so I'm happy enough with that. That's new. And weird looking what I don't even know what that is supposed to be. Hurry it up, hurry it up. Uh, got a weapon don't much care for. Waiting for it, I was like, come on, come on. May as well upgrade it if I if it's not already maxed. Hey, we made it. Alright, is this the final stage remission or is this just the final stage in the manual? Well that sounds like this would be a final stage final stage type opening cord. sounds, this looks, this could be the final stage. I just want to pass. Get in the slow lane. Let's get it on. Come on. I want to keep you back. I wonder if I have to kind of shoot that center portion. Okay, got a power up that I want to. That's good. Who do I have? Special ammunition. Does not look like it. Great. Oh, man. No. No. No! Right there. Look at that. It's so lame. Oh, here we go. Awesome. Okay, I've got one. There we go. Now I've got one more. I destroy these things. I don't think I can destroy these things. I just gotta book it. Yeah, this is gonna be probably a little tough. Just a wee bit. Oh, did that thing not serve as a checkpoint? That'd be really stinking lame. Oh, 
Speaking of lame, touch that thing. You take damage. Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk? Way to go, John. Jeez, way to go. You'd think with the homing attributes of this weapon, it would just home in on that center portion, but I don't know if that is the case. Maybe this thing just takes so, so much. Man, that other one is getting mighty close up on me. Okay. They're both gone now. Got two shots of that ammunition. Oh, jeez, I walked right up... You know, I, I walked right up into it. I flew right up into that. Jeez. I wonder if I can just... milk these for health pickups. Not looking like it. Yeah. I don't... Did I run into a crystal earlier? I thought I ran into a crystal. Maybe it was just that one emitting power-ups. Maybe I'm mistaken. I bet you I'm mistaken. Okay, let's try and maintain as much health as possible. I'm gonna need it. We already know that. And I think this thing pretty much just dies at the end of this little hallway right here. I don't think I can kill it any faster. Slow your roll. Yeah, that thing just does that. Okay. Good enough. to take damage, try not to take damage, or at least if you do, try and recover the health. Not happening, but at least I'm not dead. Got that powered up a little more, so that'll be helpful. That'll help me prevent taking damage. This looks like it's a lengthy stage. It'd be nice to have a checkpoint, let me tell you. Of the devil, how do I get it? How do I get it? It's like just the way I thought I would get it. Awesome. Checkpoint. And special weapon ammunition. Lots of it, too. I bet I will need that. And I just barely avoided running into that caterpillar. Actually, maybe I did. I don't have my barrier anymore. I wonder if I actually did. Oh, wow. You can hold special weapon, special attack button. And get a little shield, it looks like. Okay. Betcha I'm gonna have to hurry. Okay, hasn't... That was not an issue. It looked like there was gonna be a ball that dropped. Probably gonna follow me down, but that was not an issue. 
think I saw it, knew what was going to happen, was able to get done before it would follow me. Lots of snakes. We're getting deep in these ruins. I've got to be getting close to something. Whatever it is Calibri is looking for. Okay, I'm pressing the special attack button and nothing's happening. I wonder if I need... I think I need more ammunition. I'm also holding it now and nothing's happening. That little weird shield-like thing's not forming. I bet I ran out. Actually, it's apparent I ran out. I need to go get some more. I wonder if there's some down over here. It'd be super helpful if there was some down here. Maybe, maybe what I need is down here, though. And that's just the exit. Oh, wow, yeah, what is this? That looks like that. Might just be some sort of enemy or something guarding that health. Do I need that? Or is that just... Okay, yeah, that's... That looks like that's nothing, really. Nothing I need concern my with. Concern myself with. So let's go ahead and get out of here. We got some special weapon ammunition. Let's get back to the right side. Where that barrier was. Maybe that's the exit. Maybe that's taking us to where we need to go. Who knows? We'll find out. Yeah, I knew you were following me. Alright. Okay, we're making it deep. This is a long stage. Okay, we've got this guy again. Where's he going? Where's he taking us? He leading us towards the exit. What is he doing? That I would like to know. Is he just taking us in circles? No, he took us where we needed to go. going to keep following him. Looks like maybe he's leading us where we need to go. I think that's where we wanted to go. I don't know what those are. But if I looked in the manual, it'd tell me what those are. This looks like we're setting up for a boss fight here. We're countering all the power-ups, lots of pickups. It's like this looks like we're preparing for something. Okay, yeah, and this is where he took us, I believe. Yes. Let's go up and to the left now, then. Man, did a good job of evading those bullets. Awesome. Oh, right, yeah, checkpoint. Glad we came over this way.
Okay, yeah, I guess just hug the ceiling and I'll be fine. Ah. Great, I'm out of special weapon ammunition. Is it up here? How do I get up there? How do I get to that special weapon ammunition? Okay, I gotta go around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad I got that checkpoint. That was lame. Okay. No, don't want to get sucked into that. Yes, it looks like this is where we need to go. We've got a special weapon ammunition. Okay, we are primed to break through that barrier now. Hopefully that barrier... Well, obviously that barrier is going to get us where we need to go. Hopefully we don't have much... Oh, no, 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 don't want to go in there. Hopefully we don't have much further to go. It's a long stage. Okay, awesome, awesome. Looks like there's another checkpoint, so there's still much more to go. Okay, but we got to that checkpoint, so that's good. That's really what matters. As long as we don't have to restart too much of the stage whenever we die, I am fine with that. I can always build my health and these power-ups back up. Health sometimes seems like it's a little more difficult to build back up. Am I just going back the way I came? Is this actually taking me someplace, someplace new? It must be taking me someplace new because that's a new checkpoint. Okay, must be getting set for something. Here we go. This is going to be tough to get the power up I want. Okay. Yeah, this is the final boss. It looks like this is something else. Okay, got that done. Take advantage of these shields. 
Lost my weapon power up. Looks like it's ooh, downgraded. Yeah. This may not this may not be my weapon of choice in combating this stage of this enemy. Yeah, maybe it is. Just gotta get up close to it. Yep. Sweet. Awesome. look like the final phase or at least the actual boss itself the creature itself or no this is what is this is this the dark crystal I think that was the like the main bad thing ooh just as I was getting it too it looks like okay let's try this with a different weapon not with this one how about that. How about these bubbles? Not that. How about the bubbles? Yes. Okay, first phase down. Easy. Didn't take a hit. To be fair, it is the, looks like the easiest phase. Oh, gotta pause it real quick. Okay, I'm back uh, to try and intersperse that silence with some sort of some sort of music, like on hold music. That was my mom calling. Looks like we're getting our plans in order for tomorrow night for the season finale of True Detective Season 2. We're really going to go over to my parents' house, Jenny and I, have a cookout, go swim. Try not to burn up in the Oklahoma August heat. Which, I'm doing much better this second run through of this boss. Mm, I don't think that's damaging him. And I lost one level of this weapon's upgrades. I don't want to lose the lose the second level. Ah, it looks like I did, but I've also broke through to the final boss, it seems. And it looks like there's some fodder enemies here for me to destroy. Maybe I can level this up a little bit more. Maybe not. Maybe not. I hear flies buzzing around, something like that. Yeah. Oh. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Oh yes. Got the bubbles. Got the bubbles. Okay, let's get our shield. Okay, okay. Nice, nice. What do I got to contend with? Or is that it? No, now we have the... Now we have the crystal itself. What is it gonna do? What do I gotta deal with? Hey, looks like we got it. Right? That sounds good. That's there's the harp. Harp generally means good things. 
All right, we leveled some Aztec ruins. That's good, right? All right. That hummingbird destroyed some ancient ruins. It's the Isis of hummingbirds. Congratulations, you saved the world. Awesome. Honestly, did not expect I would play through this game. I only expected to play through like a... A session of it, a half hour of it, just check it out, see what it was, but hey. What is this, like, uh, two and a half hours later? It's, it's beaten. It wasn't that hard. There were definitely some challenging parts, but... Uh, if you're able to persevere with it, you'll, you're able to beat it. But that's kind of, I mean, I'm playing through Mega Man 1 and Mega Man 2, the rest of the games of the Mega Man Classic series, and that's kind of the same story there. If you persevere with it, you continue to learn what to do and adapt, and eventually you're good enough to beat it. This game didn't present that much of a challenge, though. Um, also, didn't, I didn't think it looked that great. I don't think it sounds that great. There's some definite tracks. It's, it, the songs on it are different from other games. You know, a lot of this game seems to have some sort of... A lot of their games, Nova Trader, at least, you know, Echo the Dolphin in this game, you know, they seem to have environmental uh, messages to them. And the soundtrack is kind of world music influenced, it seems like. Which is generally different from video games, especially video games of this era. I mean, especially if you think of something like Sonic the Hedgehog or Streets of Rage, other other peers of this game on the Sega Genesis, Sega Mega Drive. Um, but it, I guess you would call this a shoot 'em up. It's kind of a uniquely structured shoot 'em up, and I liked that. That was cool. You know, it had a combination of you know just traditional automatically scrolling shoot 'em up stages, along with those kind of labyrinth style stages where you actually had to go in and explore. That was very unique. I, I want to say Echo the Dolphin is probably structured in much the same way. So I'm interested to kind of go revisit Echo the Dolphin and play a little bit of it and see how much this game borrowed from Echo the Dolphin or maybe just how different it is from Echo the Dolphin. Um, but yeah, I'd always heard Echo the Dolphin described as like a platformer. So, you know, I came into this game thinking it was a platformer. I definitely described this game more as a shoot 'em up Um, but... Yeah, I mean, it looks like this is it. One one last thing I would say about this game in a critical sense is just the manual. The manual's awesome. You know, it's black and white, which is kind of whatever, but the actual detail of this manual, it's very in-depth, and it you know, goes going so far, let me actually just pick it up and take a look. You know, the back, more about hummingbirds. Here are videos and books to, re to check out a little hummingbird reference section, a little strategy section, of course. Amazing facts about hummingbirds. Here's some scientific facts about hummingbirds, two pages worth. Making a hummingbird feeder. It actually got some illustrations and instructions on how to make one. And then, of course, the actual game-related stuff. It's pretty pretty intense, probably like 12, 14 pages worth of game-related stuff. But I like that they included the reference materials for you to learn more about hummingbirds, or here's how to build your own hummingbird feeder. And of course, there's that little uh, flip note animation of a hummingbird of Calibri ostensibly in the pages, in the corner of the pages. Okay, we're at the thanks, so this has got to be the end. Thanks for playing Calibri. Okay. Looks like that's it. Well, I guess I can go ahead and call it quits then. Uh, this will be the last time. This is the last video of Calibri. I'll call it quits with Calibri for the last time. Unless I come back to revisit it for whatever reason. Don't expect that. But hey, if someone wants me to come back and play this game, maybe I would. Special requests. Anyways, that was Calibri on the Sega 32X. If you just watched this video and somehow got to the very end, and you want to go see the rest, hey, they're up on YouTube. Go check my my account. It's John Engelman, J-O-H-N-E-N-G-E-L-M-A-N. You can also check me out on Twitter using at John Engelman. Uh, lastly, I am John from MyBrainOnGames.com. Uh, thanks for watching this playthrough if you did. I very much appreciate it. Uh, 
I do have a few more Sega 32X games that I'll at least do one video for. Just a quick let's play. I don't know if I... I don't know if there's any more that I want to play through to completion. Take that back. Knuckles Chaotix. I would like to play through that. But... I think as I spoke about in an earlier video of Colibri... The Genesis I've been using, the Model 2 Genesis I'm using, is incompatible with Sonic. Or with, excuse me, with Knuckles Chaotix. I have another Sega Genesis, so I'm going to give that one a shot, but fingers crossed I can get it to work. If not, I'll just go buy a Model 1 or maybe even a Model 3 Genesis to get that to work. I don't know. Anyway, so expect a Knuckles Chaotix video at some point and a few more Sega 32X videos, but I better just shut up and end it, so thanks for watching. Bye-bye.